As thousands of protesters were marching in Toronto this weekend, there was another kind of peaceful protest going on in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement. This project, called Paint the City Black, and the two men who are behind it are my guests this morning. Let us say good morning. Number one, to Jesse Pacho. Hello, good morning. And the other co-organizer, Moises Frank. Good morning, Moises. Morning. Thank you guys both for being with me this morning. We've got you, we're gonna show a little bit later on. You're really close to each other, but we have you on two different cameras so we can really get a good look around. And I'm looking forward to the tour. But, but let me ask you to, Jesse, explain to people, because our audience is a national audience, so they might not know exactly where you are. What is Graffiti Alley so everyone understands? So Graffiti Alley is a centrally located um, laneway in Toronto that um, has been designated a sort of safe haven for graffiti artists and aerosol practitioners to come and hone their skills and practice their craft. Okay. Um, so artists have been painting in this laneway specifically since um, 1992. Okay, so this is this is a well-known spot for graffiti. And then, Moises, after the death of George Floyd, what did you decide to do in Graffiti Alley? Yeah, I mean, I think considering all the injustice happening in the world, it was a really good time for people to start using their art forms to kind of talk about, um, yeah, lived experience. And uh, I wanted to kind of bring the community together and uh, paint something kind of in, in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement uh, in Graffiti Alley. And hence, paint the city black. And how many people? You got all sorts of people involved, like within minutes, practically, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, really big shout out to the other two organizers, uh, uh, Blaze Works and uh, Nick Sleepin. Um, basically, uh, when I seen on Tuesday, people were posting this black square on Instagram. I was like, oh, that's, that's a really cool idea to spread awareness and like uh, show your support. And so I basically just took that idea and I was like, how can I do this with graffiti and like. How do I mobilize my people to come together and do something? So I got on the phone, and by Wednesday, Wednesday morning, it was like we had 40 artists and and more coming to paint on Saturday. 40 artists, amazing! And so we're going to see their creations. Okay, show us. I think we can put both of you back up on the screen because although we have you individuals, show us where you are in relation to each other. Where are <laughs> you? <laughs> okay. Oh, you could just wave at each other, right? Okay, hi. But by having you in these positions, we can see more of the alley. So, Jesse, you start. Show us around at some of the creations that are around you there and tell me about them. Yeah, so the creation you see uh, behind me here is an image of a Black Panther sort of wrapped around a globe. Surrounding uh, the Black Panther is lettering that reads, All Power to the People. And this imagery um, is important to us because all power to the people is a term that was popularized during the civil rights movement. And the Black Panthers were known as the vanguard of the civil rights movement. So this uh, message was directly in relation to the event that we were doing. I painted this mural with a friend of mine a couple days before the event. And um, we wanted to do something specifically with this message because prior to this was a, a work of art featuring Donald Trump on the wall. And, being a, a black artist and, you know, a young black man uh, living in today's society and being exposed to um, some of the Trump rhetoric, it was just really important uh, to me personally that there was no sort of imagery or anything celebrating or alluding to this individual in our uh, laneway specifically. So, so you this is the mural behind me, all power to the people. All power to the people. And it's interesting, as you raise a point, I, I understand that Graffiti artists were happy to say, hey, paint over my work, because this is really important what you're doing with these series of murals. Moises, join in the conversation. Maybe you can show us around from your vantage point and tell me about what's, uh, what has been created around you there. Yeah, this is a mural here I painted of uh, Zianna Oliphant. I'm hoping I say her last name correctly. It's a video that's circulating right now from her a couple of years ago. Um, and she basically is talking about anti-racism. And she breaks down in the video, and it was just a really powerful and like, really like courageous little girl who like was speaking out against the injustice and I thought that was like a really cool face to like kind of put to what we were talking about here and like when I think about the future I hope that I hope that in her lifetime she starts to see big changes happening um, but I can walk around here and show sure, you sure give uh, us a couple more, more. Yeah. if you can um, these are really cool too they kind of hit the point of like paint the city black in terms of graffiti artists so that's Brace ACK crew Oh, sorry, dude. 
And uh, this is Comer here. Oh, I don't know if you can see that correctly. Yes. Right? Yeah. So Got the idea that. was like similar to putting a black square on Instagram. You could just paint your name or paint a name of someone who passed away in black and gray scale. And that was your way of showing support and uh, spreading awareness about it. This was really good too by an artist in Rebos. MLK. Yeah. Martin Luther King there, and of course, and I can't breathe. I know that uh, phrase that we have come to know is a part of the painting as well. Um, Moises, I'll stay with you for just a moment. What do you hope sure. the effect is of this collection of important artistic messages? Yeah, I think I hope this is only the beginning of the conversation of work happening in Toronto that's talking about issues that are you know, more important than just painting beautiful things or painting letters. I think, um, you know, art is, is, a, is a powerful tool and I feel like graffiti and hip-hop, I know graffiti and hip-hop comes from black and Latino culture and to me it's important to be using that to speak out against injustice towards our people. So I, th I hope when people walk through here they can, they can see all these dark pieces and recognize that, you know, this is part of a bigger conversation and not just uh, your typical graffiti alley stuff. I can't breathe. We see that right over your shoulder. Jesse, coming back to you, uh, what are you hearing from people in terms of the, the response that they are having to this, the kind of impact that the work is already having? Uh, yeah, no, the, the response to this uh, event and sort of our initiative has been um, really positive. It's been really well received. And even just being in the laneways the past couple of days, just responding to media, I've seen so many different people come specifically to see some of the work that was done. I met um, a woman who brought out a candle and offered some prayers for some of the, the people that have passed, even local people that have passed under the same circumstances that, um, you know, were protesting against Jamal Francis, for example. So it's been a really positive um, interaction and it's been very, uh, very well received so far, definitely. Jamal Francis, for people who don't know, killed by Peel police, a man from Mississauga. So there are a lot of stories in the paintings that you have created and a lot to think about as you as you visit Graffiti Alley. Jesse, let me thank you and, and I'll bring them back up. Moises, I'm just going to give you the, the last word here as we look again at some of these messages and this moment. Um, what is your hope for this moment that in terms of the effect it might have and the change it might bring about? I hope, um, I hope that people start to, to sort of wake up to the reality that this is someone else's reality. And even though it may be confusing or you don't understand or you don't know what to do, that there's so many resources nowadays online to like figure out, to educate yourself or put funding towards. So that's kind of what I hope comes out of this. What a pleasure to have you both on the program today. Thank you for your stories, for sharing your, your artwork as well and the message behind it. Uh, Jesse, thank you. Moises, thank you again. We appreciate it very much. Graffiti Alley in Toronto. Thanks,